this video is part of the build a custom page template to display custom fields technet article and on this section of the video I'm going to focus on the um, content types and building the site columns so the first thing we're going to do is build the two side columns which are the product and the answer um, so I'm going to now go into site settings go into site columns and the first one I'm going to build is product now I already have a list um, in this site collection uh, and I'm just going to call a column from that list and make that as the site column. Um, so this is therefore going to be a lookup. I'm going to keep it in the uh, existing uh, um, columns, uh, existing groups, which is the custom columns that just makes it easier for me to find when I'm looking for it, but you can put that in any of the groups that you uh, see fit. Um, I know that this column is in the uh, product list and the name for the column is the name. Um, so the list is a product and the column name is um, name. Uh, but the content or the side column, I'm going to call that as product. So I'm going to go and click OK. And now if I scroll down to custom columns I should see that over here and that is if it's its product so I'm going to go ahead and add the second one as well and that is the answer column and if you read through the article you will see that the reason I want to create this answer is a um, a full HTML content because that's where people are going to put in some answers related to that product for this custom page that we're building um, and I'm going to do the same thing keep it in the side columns group um, and in this case, everything is good, so I'm going to click OK. And now if I scroll down, I should see it over there. And there it is. It's the answer and the publishing uh, HTML site column. So we're done with the site columns. Now I'm going to go back to site settings and now go and build the site content types. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on Create. And I will call this as the custom article page just like we described in the um, in the article. Now the parent content type for this is the um, the page layout. And I'm going to keep that as the article page. You can use the page layout. You can also make it as a publishing page, uh, either one of them. But I'm just going to keep it simple and use the page layout content types. And I'm going to keep that. I mean, the parent content type will be the article page. And then I'm just going to keep it in the existing custom content types. So I'm done with this as well. Now, what I need to do is in my site content types, I need to add those two custom columns um, um, to it. So first, what we do is um, let's go back once again to site content types and at least confirm uh, that this is the article page. So now I go to the site uh, content, the site content types. We kept it in the custom, so custom should be up here. Oh, yeah, it's the custom content types, and it's the custom article page. I'm going to click on that, and what I'm going to do is I am not going to add the column over here, and this is again by design. The reason for doing that is. If I went ahead and added a new column over here, that does not show up on the design manager's template. So what I need to do is I come over here, but I click on the actual parent content type, which in this case is page. And on the page, as you can see that this is the, the page content type. I'm now going to go down and click on add existing side columns. And over here, let's um, add, you can look for it in any one of them um, as a, uh, custom columns or you could just look at all of them the two that I'm looking for is answer and it's going to give you this message and I'm going to say yes and I'm also looking for product and update all content types inheriting from this type yes I'm going to keep that as yes and I'm going to click and once that's done we come back to the page scroll and there I see the uh, the two new columns that I've added now as a reminder, this is just in the page content type. So now if I go back to site contents and I look at my um, the custom one that I've built, which is the custom article one, and I go in there, I will also see the two columns which come over here. Because remember, this one is getting 
this is the child content type and it pulls it from the parent content type which is the page one so therefore you just add it to one section and it, um, the child ones automatically inherit that so um, that's basically the outline of how uh, you go ahead and create the content the side columns and then you add that to the content types and now in the next section we are going to look at how you build a page and edit it thanks